Hello everyone, welcome back to Unidentified Flying Tardigrade Scientist. Oh boy. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be a space engine episode, as I promised. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Uh, I got Rodrigo's sh ultimate, like, shaders mod or whatever. I don't know, but it, like, adds, like, shaders really and, like redoes the terrain and it's like really gorgeous oh just look at this like like that even happens in your life you know like the like water coming around like the sun drop offs this is just like so cool it makes the game like a whole lot better and uh Oh man, just look at all the detail it adds. Uh, I do have my loading speed on like the lowest because like otherwise my game freezes up every time I like go directly to a planet. And my FPS is sort of poop. Um, a big part of that is the reason that I have like a really terrible CPU in comparison to my graphics card. I mean, I'd call it a decent CPU, but I have not really anything to compare it to. It's uh, AMD Phenom X6 1035T. So uh, today we're going to search for like procedural planets. Yay! Uh, where's all the galaxies? Something's not right. Uh, oh. Oh shoot, that was like the edge of the galaxy. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I guess we can fly for a bit. Choose a random good looking galaxy. This one. This looks nice. Uh, let's fly to a random part of it. Like right here. Uh, and open up our star browser. Now what this does is it like search. F it searches for stars. So uh, right now we have no filters. And so, like, literally every single object counts as, like, filter. So, like, if we sort by filter, that's how many filtered objects were found with, like, the certain criteria. This one has, like, a thousand, two stars. Oh, I don't, well, I don't, yeah. Uh, you can see this is a neutron star. Let's find... Eh... Uh, we actually want to find something interesting so we can uh, search for a marine planet, which typically I find to look nice and Earth like. See, this one has one planet with life in it. Okay, so it happens to be a gas mini giant. Uh, oh, is that a marine here? Oh, it's warm. Despite it being like freaking <laughs> 300 degrees, you can just see the detail this adds is uh, incredible. <laughs> There's just a random nebula back there. I apologize if this like drops below 30 and all of a sudden it like looks crappy. Oh, looks like it's not doing too bad right now. <clears throat> see the planet surface load in. In fact, we can actually disable the atmosphere and just see the surface directly. Oh, this is cool. We can also disable clouds, or disable the water. It's, it's white. Oh, Let's see what material is this? It looks like it's just 
rocks. That's funny. But you can just like watch the details come in and it's incredible. So you're gonna the water. Oh, this is actually the beach. This is the legit part. And uh ah, that's a cool sand texture. If you look really carefully you can see like little grains. Oh heck, it looks just a one degree field of view. <laughs> I mean there is a limit to how far in you can go. Shoot, I feel like I'm playing like Minecraft right now, dude. Like with all the wide field of view that I have it set to. Uh let's see if there's another planet we can search for that looks nice. Well, I can't see anything. Uh, we can actually increase our search radius to like 50. Oh yeah. Watch the results come in. Um, these settings don't really... I don't know. You can see... Oh, there's over 10,000 objects, that's the limit. So there's more than that within 50 light years, but uh, can't display that. But uh, that number, oh my gosh, I hate you, I swear this got to go down. Oh. So this is the number of filtered ones that it found. This is the number that it searched so far. Oh. And this is the total number. So, uh, let's see. This is a very nice looking planet. Let's go see what this looks like. Uh, okay, it doesn't look as beautiful in person. Maybe if we... Eh. It does have lots of life, but it doesn't look very green. See the details of this lake. It drops off. Mountains around it. And whatever. Um. Looks nice. Well, what some of the other planets here? It's a hot air terra. It's gotta be dry. Okay, that surface looks cool. Oh, those clouds. <laughs> As you get closer, the detail that was loaded in gets worse, but then, like, it loads even more in. Wow. Let's see. <laughs> it's funny, all the life in the system is around the same star. Uh, uh, it's just an orange planet. Whoa! This one looks epic. Oh, wait. Is that the one that we were looking at? Oh. <laughs> that's the one that we were looking at. That's funny. I don't know. That's not funny. Uh... Okay, you can see that Aquarius look way better now. Well, at least with this. You can see the blue atmosphere. Oh. Thank you, Klaus, for loading in at the last moment. Uh, just look at the detail. That's the, how many times have I said that word right now? Uh. just watch it load in. You can see how it like merges the textures. Let's actually try to edit. We can use the planet editor.
Oh, we just passed 10 minutes. Uh, still haven't verified my channel yet because I don't have a phone. So, uh, I can only upload 15 minute videos. I'll try to cut this off at 12. So, uh, over here, we can control the main thing. Oh, that makes it look good. We, we should probably edit like this one instead. You can exit the loading screen. Okay, so you can give this all sorts of life. I mean, I don't know how much it will change the way it looks like. I know it won't look that good. Can't update the planet while loading is in progress. I'll just fly away so we'll stop freaking loading and then like update it. Okay, let's go back in. Yeah, it doesn't look that different. Uh, however, we can edit this, which is the main thing that makes it well look better. You can see all the different textures or whatever that currently uses. Uh, we can change the weight though to crazy values and then hit save. Uh, you can always like undo that. Can't update while loading is in progress. Update. And that looks no different. Okay, uh... <laughs> yeah, we can just change this to any. Update, wait, save. I am not 100% sure if it requires a space engine restart. So, I'm gonna try that real quick. Sorry for the black screen. I'll, I'll let you read this. Uh, oh, passing 12 minutes, I guess we'll go for 13. Come on! freaking load so that these people don't have to watch the boring black screen Oops, sorry about this uh, and man I, I am I want to cut parts out pretty soon to start physically editing my videos. Editing my videos. Oh gosh. Um, come on, come on. Yeah, okay, I guess I'm gonna have to end the episode here because now it's frozen. So, uh, uh, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully, next time it'll go better and we can pick up where we left off. The planet should look like really good and green and stuff uh, next time we load it so uh, I mean I don't know I guess you'll have to wait till the next episode to see it <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching uh, Unidentified Flying Tardigrade Scientist out